Welcome to Lance Arena, first midcourt in Charleston. Mike Brad, along with Jack Ashmore, ready for Ohio Valley Conference basketball. Important game tonight, Eastern Illinois hosting Southeast Missouri. Glad you're with us tonight. We take a look at the Ohio Valley Conference standings, brought to you by Delta Dental. Jack, they tell all about the importance of this game. Six teams have punched their tickets. Parker Long works it up court for the Red Hawks, gets it over the 10-second line against man-to-man defense. Ball goes at the right wing to Nigel Russell. Out front to Eric Reed. Three. And the Kenton quickly shot them out of that with his three-pointers. Green and roll Friday. Missed the layup, though. Rebound comes off to a Kenton. He brings it up for Southeast Missouri. Passed ahead in the corner to Reed. For the key to Johnson. He dribbles it once. Now backdoor pass to Agnew. Fired it out in the corner at Kenton. Now to Reed. Three left wing is very short. Rebound goes in the lane. Though. Nicholas takes it to the right side. Now drives down to the block. Stolen. Dang wound up with the ball. Passed ahead to Johnson. Coming down in the fast break. Ahead to Wallace in the corner. Moves to the wing for a three, and it's no good. And it comes back to Johnson. Shovels it out to Max Smith for a wide open three. You missed it. Rebound in the lane. Skipper Brown's got it. He'll put it back up. Not just put it up. Put it down. A dunk. Looked like he was too far from the basket. Wallace goes to Skipper Brown at the right block. Backs in. Pass to Friday. Steps in for a layup. No. Put back. No. Put back. Yes. Friday on his third. Called on Dang of EIU. Trying to steal the ball. First foul on Dang Dang. Third team foul this half on the Panthers. Red Hawks have two. Agnew was inside a little bit, and Friday kind of reached over. That's what maybe, they called. I think maybe they thought he was kind of pushing. Them. Eastern 66, Southeast Missouri 61. Exactly nine minutes left in the game. Eastern's biggest lead has been eight points. And if the Red Hawks lose, they have to try to get in by winning Saturday at SIU Edwardsville. Jordan Skipper-Brown's got a one-and-one with the score tied and 331 to play.